Calculating the carbon footprint of a neighborhood involves considering various factors that contribute to carbon emissions. While it may not be possible to obtain precise measurements without detailed data, you can estimate the neighborhood's carbon footprint by following these general steps. Number 1. Gathering energy usage data. Collect information on the energy consumption of the neighborhood. This includes electricity, natural gas and any other fuel sources used for heating, cooling and powering homes and businesses. Contact local utility companies or government agencies to obtain aggregated data if available. Number 2. Determine transportation emissions. Estimate the carbon emissions from transportation activities in the neighborhood. Consider the number of vehicles that average fuel consumption and the distances traveled by residences and businesses. You can use surveys, transportation statistics or local traffic data to get an approximation. Number 3. Account for Waste Management Calculate the carbon emissions associated with waste management in the neighborhood. This includes emissions from landfill decomposition, waste transportation and waste treatment processes. Reach out to the local waste management authorities for information on waste disposal practices and associated emissions. Number 4. Assess water usage. Although not directly related to carbon emissions, water consumptions can indirectly contribute to a carbon footprint. Determine the neighborhood's water consumption and factor in the energy required for water treatment, water distribution and wastewater treatment processes. Number 5. Include other factors. Consider additional significant contributors to carbon emissions in the neighborhood. This may include industrial activities, agricultural practices, local businesses and public institutions. Gather available data or estimate based on national or regional averages. Number 6. Calculate emissions. Once you have gathered data on energy usage, transportation, base management, water usage and other relevant factors, you can calculate carbon emissions. Use carbon calculators or emission factors provided by reputable sources to convert the data into CO2 equivalents. Summarize the results. Aggregate the calculated emissions from each sector to determine the total carbon footprint of the neighborhood. Express the results in metric tons of carbon dioxide or another appropriate unit. Keep in mind that this estimation relies on various assumptions and approximations. For a more accurate assessment, it may be helpful to engage with local government agencies, environmental organizations or sustainability experts who can provide guidance or conduct a comprehensive carbon footprint assessment. Thank you.